Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at the Crazy Dragon Warriors set purchased over at Amazon.com. Link for this set is down in the video description. The set comes with four figures and some directions. And here are the four. We have orange, green, other green, and purple. For the Tyrannosaurus, we've got Tyrannosaurus, Stegosaurus, Triceratops, and Anthlon. Anthlon. Okay then. And here are the four beasts out of the box. They're not packaged very well. They're just put in little baggies and then thrown in the box. And as you can see, the box is a little bit worse for wear. Though I can't argue with these figures. They're they're really okay looking. I mean, they're they're definitely not premium product, but they actually are a little bit better in quality than um, this guy. Which is kind of start off with taking a look at Tyrannanananosaurus. And the orange and brown work well. The eyes are a sticker. The figure is actually painted pretty well. Better than Hasbro figures. Plastic quality is not exactly perfect. And let's face it, in terms of dinosaur modes, this is... It is a little bit weak sauce. Just a little bit. But it's it's fine. It, it really is. It's just, it's meant for small children. It's not meant to be complicated. It's meant to just be something silly, goofy, and fun. Posability, it's there. There are ball joints. The mouth does open all the way, but be careful because sometimes the mouth will come unpegged, but I haven't figured out how to really take the figure apart. Ball joints in the back. And legs are ball jointed. Thankfully, the legs and the hips, which are ball joints as well, are nice and tight. The shoulder or the neck and the, the neck specifically is a little bit loosey goosey. Nothing I can't fix. Now, let's look at Athlon next. Athlon is. I have no idea what kind of dinosaur this is supposed to be. But. I think it's obvious that this is the same exact mold as the Tyrannosaurus, just with, uh, nope, tail's the same. Head is different. And it looks like it's supposed to be a plant eater. Nom, nom. So, the two of them next to each other. One's orange and brown, and the other one's diarrhea, diarrhea green and light brown. <laughs> I do... The, the fact that this is literally the color of things that come out of people's butts. <laughs> okay, let's put that off to the side. Stegosaurus. Now, I know P.A. is a big fan of anything a Stegosaurus, and unfortunately, I think this is the weakest of the set. Yes, the body looks good, but the problem is, one, the head. You can't bend the head down. Two, you can't open the mouth because it's a screw there. And three, those legs just look weird. I would have really liked it if there was a way to, I don't know, make them a little bit better, but eh, it's a fine little Stegosaurus. It scales to pretty much all the others, though this is the one that I will show you all how it scales towards Cyberverse. Snarl. Snarl? No, that's not Snarl. That's Sludge. It's ah uh, maybe a little bit bigger than Sludge, though it definitely has a lot more pieces filled in. There's not as much holes in the body. And then we have another figure that's very similar, the Triceratops. It's my favorite in terms of color. The gold, the dark brown, and the purple, I think, work really well. All of these figures look pretty good, even though they're very light, like exceptionally light. Like a deluxe class Transformer feels heavier than these guys do. So just be aware of that. In terms of another size-wise, here is Dinobutt. So Voyager class Dinobutt. Yes, I realize I'm saying Dinobutt, not Dinobot. Just to give you an idea of the size. All right, let's go ahead and get into the transformation. We'll start with the two-legged dinos first. They have the exact same transformation. To start off with, come to the back and rip off the entirety of the tail. Come up to the head, rip off the entirety of the head, stand the fit legs up straight, split the abdomen open, thus revealing the 
head and the torso. Attach one of the bits as an arm. Attach the other bit as a leg. And that's it. That's the transformation. And repeat the process for the other one. Rip off pieces, straighten out the legs, open up the chest, and plug the pieces you removed back on. You have what is, at its core, a very similar transformation to the original Beast Wars Megatron. In terms of coloring, I think we have a little bit more accents going on here, especially on Alphen. Got the silver there at the crotch, and then the red there at the chest, and then the head sculpt is very reminiscent of some combination of Transformers and Gundam. And then the Tyrannosaurus is similar, orange, brown, gold at the crotch, silver on the chest, and very reminiscent of a trance of a Gundam. It really feels like a Gundam. Gundam A. Okay, not a turn A Gundam. Yeah, possibility wise ball joint in the hip, ball joint in the knee, ball joint in the ankle, ball joint in the shoulder, hinge at the shoulder, ball joint at the, at the elbow. Heads swivel a little bit. You do end up having to push it past and slide it past some plastic, but yeah, for a kid, for a young kid, these are just fine. All right, let's take a look at Stego and Triceratops. Now these two both have a very similar transformation. To start off with, you turn each figure around and pull off their tail, stand the rear legs up straight, then grab the front legs and rip them off. Now for Triceratops, you're supposed to pop the head off, but I found that just splitting the chest actually does it for you. And then stand the figure up and reattach the arms and just figure out which fist goes on which side and plug them in. And one thing I do need to mention on these two specifically, plugging in these arms requires way more force than I think most children are able to, you know, use. And then the tail becomes a nice little ax. Now for Tricera, the head can be pegged into the hand, but you end up, things just don't look right. So we'll put that off to the side for right now. I'll do it for, for us late, a little bit later. Let's get into Stego. Stego, rip the front legs off, pull off the tail, take the dino head and fold it down. It's not supposed to come off. Straighten out the legs. And now to split the chest or the back open, what I end up doing is just getting it started and then kind of using this tail as a wedge. So we'll get it started at the top. See, it just popped in half there. This is actually a lot harder for this guy than it is for the others. So as I said, I use the tail as a wedge and just go through the spines and, you know, just start pushing it in and popping the spines apart until I can grab everything and get my finger in there and then split those apart. And honestly, these spines are just going to snap in half one day. They're that kind of hollow plastic. They just are. So stand the figure up, turn the legs around like so. and plug in some arms and we're done. Now the coloring for these are a little bit odd because I think the coloring on the other two work a lot better than these robots. Triceratops coloring is a little bit better than Stegosaurus. We've got the red there on the chest and I'm sorry, that is a Gundam head sculpt if I've ever seen one combined with Soundwave's visors. And then Stegosaurus is just different shades of green with silver and red. And this one is the most Gundam head sculpt of them all. It's kind of like the Epion crossed with the Devil Gundam, or Dark Gundam for those in the US. It's just weird. It's like, what happens if Gundams transform into dinosaurs badly? 
And this is the best job I've been able to do with getting them posed. You can get some decent action poses. The two two-legged figures or two-legged dinosaurs work better in terms of posing, where the four-leggers are or quadrupeds, I should say, bipeds and quadruped dinosaurs have just way more junk to get in the way. And then Triceratops, you can pose it, but once you put that shield on, it throws off the balance of the figure completely. Now, would I recommend this set? If you're getting this set for just a kid who likes dinosaurs, go right ahead. Just go right ahead. It's cheap enough. It's, I want to say it's like 40 bucks for all of them. And it's fun. It's just a fun set. They're not going to last, though. I'm sure as soon as you throw it against a wall or somebody sits on it, it's just going to explode into a million pieces. But overall, I think they're fun. I think they're interesting. They're definitely something unique that we haven't seen before. And yes, they do have Dinozars vibes, but who remembers that series? I mean, seriously, it's been almost 20 years since that line came out in Japan. Oh boy. Anyway, let me know what you think of the set down in the down in the comments. I've got one more crazy dinosaur centric Amazon set uh, for you for review that'll be coming up next. Thanks for watching. I have been Bolt Matrix. I'll catch you next time, and I will catch you next time.